Bloom's Taxonomy and Critical Thinking. Uh, we've been looking at critical thinking and a useful framework to help us with that process is Bloom's Taxonomy. Uh, Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning takes us through six levels from lower order skills through to higher order skills. And we can see here uh, lower order skills are things like knowledge and comprehension through to higher order skills which are uh, application of learning synthesis and evaluation. Let's look at each of these in turn. Uh, the knowledge level, according to Bloom, included things like um, knowledge of specific facts, um, knowledge of methods and approaches, ways of doing things, and included uh, an, uh, an understanding, a knowledge of the sequence in which um, activities happen. Um, so looking at very basic facts and principles, and with knowledge, we're also looking at things like uh, how, uh, how we might classify or categorize things in teaching. And also the particular structures that we're using to uh, think about what we're actually working on. At the next level, comprehension, it moves beyond just looking at facts and principles but in trying to understand those facts and principles. And in order to do this, a critical thinker needs to translate those facts into something meaningful, um, and also how to interpret those facts from different points of view, different perspectives, and also to extrapolate, or in other words, how to look beyond the facts to further facts, to the horizon. At the application level, the critical thinker is very much looking at how knowledge, how facts, and how the understanding of facts can be applied in real concrete situations. So how to take the abstract and make it real. And this can not only include facts, but can include ideas and approaches, methods that might be used in teaching. Analysis takes the critical thinker another step further, closer to the goal of higher order thinking. With analysis, the reflective practitioner, the critical thinker, is looking at how relationships uh, are being built between facts and how the principles are being organized between those facts. At the next level, synthesis, the critical thinker is really starting to move into a production phase of knowledge. This is where the linkages are not only understood and being applied, but are actually used to derive new understandings and to create um, additional meanings for the reflective practitioner. So, what we can see using Bloom's taxonomy is that the cognitive processes involved from lower order, lower order thinking to higher order thinking are very much focused at the higher order end for the critical thinker towards application and synthesis and evaluation. And there are particular aspects associated with Bloom's taxonomy which the critical can critical thinker can consider. Um, for example, there are the ideas of facts and uh, uh, particular values, but the critical thinker can also think of assumptions and um, evidences which can uh, be used with those facts. And through to higher order thinking, where there is a consideration of opinions and even bias in what is being considered. So there are particular skills throughout Bloom's taxonomy that the critical thinker, the reflective practitioner, can bring to their role.